What if I told you that time travel isn't just a science fiction fantasy, but something that's already happening? No, we don't yet have DeLoreans that warp through time or wormholes we can jump through. But time, as it turns out, doesn't move the same for everyone. Thanks to a phenomenon called time dilation, proven by both theory and experiment, we now know that time actually flows differently, depending on how fast you're moving or how close you are to gravity. This means astronauts on the International Space Station age just a little bit slower than people on Earth. And clocks on GPS satellites have to be corrected because they tick faster than clocks on the ground. Time travel into the future isn't just possible. It's happening right now. Time dilation is one of the most fascinating consequences of Einstein's theory of relativity. According to special relativity, the faster you move through space, the slower time moves for you, relative to someone standing still. And according to general relativity, the closer you are to a massive object, like a planet or black hole, the more gravity stretches and slows down time. This means that time is not absolute. It is flexible, it bends. And this has been measured again and again in laboratories, satellites, and even jet planes. Here's the mind-bending part. We've already observed time travel. In 1971, atomic clocks were flown around the world on commercial jets. When compared with clocks left on the ground, they were slightly off, by just billionths of a second, but still different. Astronauts on the International Space Station orbit Earth at 28,000 kilometers per hour. Because of time dilation, they experience time just a tiny bit slower than we do on Earth. About 0.1 seconds less every six months. That's real, measurable time travel. It's not jumping centuries ahead, but it proves that moving fast or being near gravity literally changes the flow of time. Now imagine time dilation taken to the extreme. Near the event horizon of a black hole, gravity is so intense that time almost stops completely. To someone observing from afar, a person falling into a black hole would appear to move slower and slower, frozen in time. Meanwhile, the person falling wouldn't notice anything strange until they cross the horizon where the rules of physics start to collapse. This is more than just science fiction. It's the physics of the universe as we understand it. In fact, the movie Interstellar famously portrayed this correctly. Spending one hour near a massive black hole could mean years pass outside. Technically, yes. Time dilation lets us travel into the future by moving close to the speed of light. If a spaceship traveled fast enough, someone on board could experience just a few days while decades pass back on Earth. This is not a theory. It's how time actually works at those speeds. So far, our technology can't get us anywhere near light speed. But if we ever do, future travel becomes reality. Traveling backward in time is far more complicated. Einstein's equations don't forbid it completely, but they make it extremely difficult. There are theoretical ideas, wormholes, cosmic strings, rotating black holes, but all of them require exotic matter or negative energy, things we've never observed. Even if backward time travel were possible, it raises massive paradoxes. What if you went back and changed something? What happens to the future you came from? For now, it remains a mystery, a dream, a question science hasn't yet answered. Time is not a universal rhythm. It is elastic. It bends with motion. It slows with gravity, and it opens a door, just a crack, to the idea of time travel. We're already doing it, just very slowly. The real question is, can we learn to control it? And if we do, what future would we choose?